Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. And today we have something you've all been asking for since our Yaris has arrived and that is a road comparison compared to our GP3. I thought I'd make the video a little bit more interesting and not just have me comparing the two. So I've recruited my good friend Joe Achilles. You may have seen him before. He's handy behind the wheel and we think he's okay on camera. Hello mate. Going, mate? <laughs> you alright? Yeah, good to see you. So you've driven the GP3 on road and track. Yaris? I haven't driven that at all. Okay, no. so it's going to be interesting to drive both of them on the road back to back and compare notes essentially. Absolutely. So, which one do you want to drive first? Um, I'll take the Yaris if you don't mind. Let's go. Perfect. So, let's hit the road. I'm driving the GP3 initially and I've got Joe behind me in the GR Yaris and it's the first time he's experienced the GR on the road um, and he has driven the GP3 before. It's a bit greasy today so I expect the Yaris to be a little bit better. But Joe, what's the Yaris like on these roads because the GP3 is very bumpy? Oh mate, it's a dream I have to say. I, I know this particular road very well and I know it's number one bumpy and number two very slippery at this time of year and this car is just taking it in its stride, it's amazing. Yeah, uh, you haven't experienced this car on here yet, but I'm, ex <laughs> I'm interested to hear your thoughts in comparison because I've been driving this all morning and I, I'll be honest, I'm really looking forward to jumping back in the Yaris just to see what the difference is. As you said, it is very greasy, the road is extremely bumpy. Um, what I'm noticing with the GP3 is when I accelerate, it's just really struggling for grip and it just wants to follow all the cambers in the road. Yeah, I can actually visually see that from behind you now. Um, and you're right, I think it's a bit of a dangerous way, me going from this to that, whereas you're gonna feel very safe jumping into this car. Um, I absolutely love the GP3, but yeah, it does have its faults in stock form. So uh, yeah, it's gonna be interesting. Yeah, and then, uh, because this is the first time I've been on this road, and obviously I know this car very well, and if you hadn't told me just to slow down a little bit, I think I probably would have got myself into some trouble because some of these corners are very dodgy. <laughs> they are, they really are. Um, and I think on top of everything today as well, they're both running the stock tires that these cars come with and I bang on about tires as you do on your channel a lot, but wow, what a difference they make. Yeah, I mean, yeah, if on all of our other cars, we would always have Michelin um, PS4S's on. The Yaris comes with those, these come with some Hancocks. I haven't managed to change them over yet. And I'm not sponsored by Michelin, but yeah, by far, they are by far the best road tire you can get. Yeah, totally agree, totally agree. Um. <laughs> oh, mate, this yeah, car. I mean, I just, the, the thing with the GP3 is it just wants to kill you, so it kind of makes it fun, but. <laughs> You have to treat it with respect. It's not as if you can get in it and have a relaxing drive at all. Yeah, I mean, you have to really be paying attention. Yeah, I noticed that. Obviously, I drove your car out on track um, a good few months ago, and you could take liberties out on track because if the car's moving left and right a foot, it doesn't matter too much. But then you try it on the road, and it starts playing that party trick, and it's actually not that fun. It's quite dangerous. Um, yeah. Where is this thing, mate? Oh man, I can't wait for you to get back in your car. This thing is like, put the floor, yep. Yeah. You just go forward, you don't go left, right. You just, <laughs> it's just unreal, <laughs> mate. It is unreal, what a car. <laughs> yeah, this is, you can see the steering wheel just tugging you left and right. <laughs> yeah. Okay, cool. So yeah, do you wanna swap, you, you lead down this time. Yep. And I'll, I'll follow you. Okay, mate. And then uh, we'll swap cars. Yep. Oh, the other thing, yeah, while we're talking about these is the gearbox. Um, yes. I can, I can kind of see why this needs an automatic because you need both hands on the steering wheel, but I really miss um, having a manual. Yeah. Because my old F56 was manual and like all the rest of the cars are DCT and I always chose a manual just because I wanted to have a manual car and have that engagement with the car and I, I miss it in this car but I think if I had one again you'd be in a bit of trouble because when the car's moving left to right and you're trying to keep it straight you'd, you'd probably not be concentrating on what you're doing with the gear changes. 
Yeah, it's it's uh, it's so true, mate. I remember actually when Henry Catchpole uh, reviewed the GP3, and he said something very similar. He said he was very disappointed that it didn't come in a manual. But <laughs> you're so busy with your hands anyway that trying to change gear as well is just almost an impossibility. Um, whereas this car, I mean, it's just like I said before, it's just. It's so good, it's so pliant along this road. Uh, and I feel very relaxed driving it. I'm, I'm super happy and comfortable taking my hand off the wheel to change gear with no issues whatsoever. Um, and it's, yeah, it does, it definitely adds to the engagement and the involvement of this car. It really is a mega bit of kit, mate. Absolutely and mega. Um, what do you think about the actual gear change itself? The gear change itself is really good. I mean, the box is lovely. Um, it's not quite sort of Porsche Cayman GT4, but it's very good and very close. I'd say it's, I'd say it's actually probably better than the one in my M2 competition. It's less rubbery. It's more um, mechanical or metallic or yeah. whatever. You know, um, it's really, yeah, really it's good. Very, yeah, very. You can like, you know, it's got that definitive kind of click into place. Yes, exactly. Whereas some of the BMW gearboxes are a little bit woolly, if that makes sense. Woolly's a good, woolly's a good description. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's a technical term. Technical, yeah, of course, mate. I wouldn't think, I wouldn't expect anything less from you. I must, yeah, I must say. So I think just uh, running through a couple of my negatives with this car because it's definitely not perfect um, and in the short time I've sort of been behind the wheel today uh, my biggest complaints probably driving position as a few people have pointed out is not perfect um, especially for the taller chap I'm six foot four just in case you didn't read my t-shirt um, yeah. and and but I'm, I'm still fitting in here reasonably comfortable but I think it kind of my my pedal box is sacrificed a bit so I'm finding it very hard almost impossible to do heel and toe and stuff but my biggest complaint is probably as I glance over to the left I've got the wing mirror which is the size of most people's flat screen TVs <laughs> <laughs> it is rather big yeah. it's so big and then the infotainment screen and actually between the two I end up with maybe like an inch and a half or two inches of a gap um, and that is when you're really pushing on and you're looking through corners and stuff, it, it, it is a bit of a sacrifice. And I think that's got a lot to do again with my height because if I was a little bit lower, um, I could get a better vision through there. But otherwise, I mean, I'm not going to complain about anything else because I know 35 grand's a lot of money for a Yaris, but this is this is a serious bit of kit, man. This is like... Well, the GP, GP3 is more than that. It's like 37. So it, this car is a good 4,000 pound more than the Yaris. Yeah, and that puts it into perspective. I mean, these are, these are selling like hotcakes and I totally understand why. Um, brilliant bit of kit. Right, let me uh, build my nerves up a little bit. <laughs> build my courage up a bit before I jump in that thing. Yeah, <laughs> into the wild one. Okay, let's see what this is like now. Uh, turn line assist off. Oh, you've got it in sport, so you're doing the yeah, rear wheel yeah. drive action. Okay. Mate, there's just so yeah, much, just there's so much grip there, bit. it's not even funny. Cool, let's let this car go a little bit. I'll just let this, oh, oh look yeah. at that, it's another Yaris. It's just nice like yours. green one. Yeah, we'll it's let that go a little bit. It's got individual paint work. Yeah. Yeah, That's British it. Racing Green. <laughs> Actually, one thing I noticed straight away jumping in that I think that the Mini does have over the Yaris as well is the interior. Yes. It is, it's much higher class. Definitely. <laughs> but this does the job. How you doing over there, Joe? This is just 
This is just cruising over this road. Oh my god, the difference is insane. <laughs> it's effortless, honestly. Oh. No wonder you've been so relaxed. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Seriously guys, the difference in the way the suspension is and the way the car goes over these roads is, is not even close. And you can't accuse me of any bias because that Mini is also my car. So. Mate, absolutely. I mean, it's, it, it's, do you know what it reminds me of? It feels like I've just jumped into a go-kart and, and I'm driving along here on a go-kart with yeah. no suspension. Um, Travel, I mean, yeah, it's so exactly. firm. It's, I'm still having fun. I've probably got a bigger smile on my face if anything, but... Yeah, not particularly for the right reasons, I guess. Yeah, I'll just tell you that Mini, you drive it and it, it's fun because, you know when you're on the edge of like, death? <laughs> yes. <laughs> they yeah. want to kill yeah, you. Yeah. <laughs> and then and that's, and that's why it's exciting, whereas this is effortless, so it's fun in a different uh, way. But I think if you were going on a, like a real road tour, and you were doing a lot of miles, I think the GP3 would get a little bit tiring because you have to concentrate so much on keeping it on yeah, the Yeah, when I had that press car GP3 uh, a few weeks ago, actually, um, on the bad weather days, like if I did any more than a few miles, it was, you got out and you needed a rest, you know? It felt, it felt like you'd been on the road for six hours and it was only 20 minutes because it was just so full on. It's like a, like a, 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 a puppy or something. It just always wants attention. Yeah. That's exactly what it's like. It's like one of those really energetic little Yorkshire Terriers that's always like bounding around and you kind of, like it's fun, but you have to always try to keep yes, it out of yeah, trouble. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Whereas this, I would say it's docile, but it's, I, I don't know how to describe it. It's just so competent at what it does. And I think it's almost like, you know, like how a, a, a seven, um, 981 Boxster is such a good car but then I would say it's not quite as fun as an M2. It's almost like that, but the GP3 is not as good as yes, an M2 on these to roads. totally agree, mate, totally agree. And there, yeah, I mean, just the actual having a manual gearbox as well, it just adds that little bit of extra dimension to the driving experience. Yeah, I mean, this thing, and I talked about it in my videos when I've driven it in your track video, that this car is very when it's when it finds grip it is really quick in a straight line like you know um it's, yeah, it's I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if it's every bit as quick as say my m2 competition um even though power figures don't suggest that but just the, the lack of weight you know um It's like complete joy driving this on here. I'm not stressed. I'm just actually concentrating on what I'm doing, the inputs I'm putting into stereo, rather than concentrating on staying alive, <laughs> <laughs> keeping the car on the road. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I think the camera is going to do my concentration some justice because I'm literally like my eyes feel like they're on stalks going through there. Um, fourth gear, and you're getting like. You know, you're getting wheel spin and, and a bit of torque steer and um, yeah, it definitely keeps you on your feet. Mate, I've just realised now I'm concentrating much more on our conversation <laughs> <laughs> driving this than I was driving that. Yeah, so. uh, well, that's exactly the way I feel. I feel like I can't spit out, spit out a sentence at the moment because all of my concentration's going on <laughs> driving. Um, yeah, what a difference. Yeah, it's amazing. And I think, yeah, it'll be really interesting to actually get a set of uh, PS4S on that and see how much difference it makes. But what I will say about that is even though it has a, got a mechanical diff in there, it's not as good as the wave track differential I had in my old F56. Because the wave track would really like go in the direction you're trying to point it at, whereas this one grabs and just wants yes. to follow, uh, follow oh, the okay. road cameras, where my old F56 right, didn't Right, okay, that. well that's interesting. Yeah, it does, it does feel like it's just doing the wrong thing all the time in this car. You know, it does feel like it's constantly pulling you in the wrong direction. Cool. Okay, I think that's our driving done. So to sum up, I think it's, from my perspective, the Yaris is so much more competent on these roads, has so much more grip, it's still fun. And the Mini is, it is a track car. I don't think it's built 
for B roads, whereas this is. Absolutely. I mean, it's ironic because I think if this was a closed rally stage and we had to go and set some times in these cars, I reckon that little stretch that we've been doing, you'd be almost 10 seconds quicker in that Yaris, which is a lot of time over, what, a minute and a half or something. But it, it would almost, yeah, yeah. I would almost hedge bets on it being the reverse if we took them onto a dry track. Maybe it wouldn't be that much faster, but I reckon this would be quicker on a dry track. So yeah, maybe, uh, maybe that's a plan for the future. Yeah, I think definitely. I think on this road, yeah, the, the GP3 wouldn't see which way the Yaris went, but we've both driven the GP3 on the track and we know yep. that it's very good. So I think that is uh, the next probably collaboration between us is to get both of them on a, on a dry track and uh, see how oh, they mate, get on. That sounds like the dream. I'm there. Cool. Thanks mate, for coming along, Mate, absolute pleasure. Thanks for having me. Um, yeah, keep up the good work. I love it. Love your channel and... Uh, yeah, and I'm very jealous that you've got both these cars. Probably more more so yeah. that you've got the Yaris <laughs> yeah. at this time of year. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And guys, if you want to watch uh, Joe's video of uh, him just in the Yaris, uh, he's going to put that up at roughly the same time. So we'll put a link to that video uh, so you can check out his uh, slightly extended review on this Cheers, car. Man. Thank you so much for watching guys. If you'd like to watch more of this project, you can do so over here. If you'd like to watch what YouTube suggests you might like from our other videos, you can watch that over here. If you like this video, please click on the thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. If you guys have any questions, please drop them in the comment section and we'll do our best to answer them for you.